Hello, hello, and welcome back to something I didn't do last week very well, did I? No, because I was incredibly ill. So, have some Hitman. Episode 6, it seems. So we've caught up with the other series, except for God of War, which is trailing horribly behind. I don't actually know what I'm doing today. In the world of Hitman, I believe I'm breaking into a strip club and shooting a man in the face, and that's what I remember from the You're gameplay, right. but not the story. The arms dealer is after Victoria. <coughs> I need to stop him before he gets too I still have a terrible man, cough, so if that turns up, sadly. You want my advice? You take that girl and you run. I never did believe in running. 47 shouldn't take trains where there are cameras everywhere. Saying that, I learnt the camera thing from GTA 4 is just camera angles when you go on the train, so I should shut up. I need you along to spearhead the operation. Are you in? Wade. There's Wade. He's a lovely man, and I have no idea what he's smoking. I don't even know if he's smoking it. He could be eating it. Because it looks like chicken. Can you smoke chicken? Well, you can smoke chicken, I guess, but not in that way. I don't even know what it is. I need to bring my boys. Probably chicken in that case. Actually, mm. yeah, that's Take a chicken bone. You. you can bring her back when you find her. Lenny, Lenny. Really hard hitting stuff Step here from this channel feet. this week. <laughs> Sorry, the kids are dipshit. One second. <coughs> oh my. Now that was a cough. Thirty. Thirty-five. Deal. Well, it's good to know. Lenny, come give the man a line. Lenny is Dexter's son. He's kind of abused. Horrendously. But he's Dexter's son. Come on, Liv Dick. <laughs> Liv Dick Lenny. <laughs> Shut up, Wade! <laughs> I like good old Wade, I really do. Son of a bitch makes my skin. I feel like Dexter doesn't really appreciate his son right now. Maybe we should make him appreciate this son. In a way that he'll remember. With fiber wire. Anyway, that's our target. He seems like a lovely fellow and viewer discretion advised. You know, if the bit where I said sorry, strip club didn't clue you in. I really cannot talk today. Terribly sorry. Like, I've missed a week and therefore my brain's just fallen out. And I sit out the window. That phrase makes sense, so I'm going to stick with it. Anyway, Hunter and the Hunted. It's a painfully long chapter, and there's a lot of assassination in this. At the, like, at part two and the very end. The very end is just the coolest thing. It's like a big orchestrated affair when you get to certain areas at certain times, and that'll probably be its own entire episode because it's going to be hell to do. Because there's no way I can do it in one shot. It's gonna have a. He, what you're probably going to see is just like the 50 billionth attempt. Now, then. this bit's quite easy. It's the girls you have to worry about. The boys will get on. Run away. <coughs> Junkies, mostly. Mm. These girls, the devil. There's a story behind it. It's like there's a side story going on here about some form of murderer, and it, it'll become a, quite apparent who the murderer is soon enough, and it'll become apparent who the cops might think the murderer is soon enough. Oh my! Oh, that was close. We shouldn't have done that. Um. Line okay, I don't really know these guys, like, their pattern and their roots, so we should probably just head down there where they aren't and work our way from here. As soon as I remember this, this is a pathway. Oh. Oh, God. I picked the worst time. Just go down here while, you know, straight as the light just, you know, as the torches, kadoosh, just down that little archway. I run straight past. That wasn't an archway, was it, ladies and gentlemen? No. Oh, God, I am not good at this today. 
That's right, keep moving. I think I know where I'm going here. I say I think, I actually have no idea. Oh, thank God, a checkpoint. Just in case, because I might cock this up, I might... You know, I might pop out of a hole, like, say, this hole. You know, just as a, <laughs> the torch goes, gadoosh, right in front of my face. And that wouldn't be fun, would it? Ooh! I didn't know I could do that. That's cool. <coughs> you see, that's how you make Hate Man's life just a bit, a little bit more fun. Just to shake a bit of fire around in front of his face. I don't know why they're teasing me with an explosive barrel right now, but I couldn't do anything with it. Do I go this way? And I don't know why he's holding the bottle like that, because I'm not going to smash someone in the face with it. It's just going to be a distraction. Now, have I been this way? I'm not sure. I I've gotten lost already. Mm, yeah. That's where it started, isn't it? Okay, so there are people up there, so we have to get up there, surprisingly. I don't go to this place very often, because you can't really make a contract out of a place with two people. And it's just dull to be here. Well, I suppose you can, because there's the upstairs area. So forget I spoke, but uh, no one makes contract out of this place, so, you know. It's all King of Chinatown area. There we go. Into the rain. And yeah, we'll stick with the ball, just in case. Okay, we've got a few guys here. They are investigating a very recent murder. In the happy, happy club, the Roxy, I think. Can't quite read that. I don't know. By the way, someone died here. So they are on, you know, high alert. Let's just chuck this in the middle of them. They'll go, oh, evidence. Let's go and look at it for about five hours while I move to a place of safety like just over here oh shit this is insane <coughs> he could stick his torch just around there and I'd be screwed but we've got we could dump him somewhere but we don't need really to knock him out he'll be fine he's a good kid but we'll take the five wide just in case because he's right next to a bin and, you know, if push comes to shove, we can kick him in the back and strangle him to death. I don't feel good saying that. <laughs> As like, uh, well, if it all goes wrong, we can just horribly murder him. And dump him in that there bin. Right, climb down. And we have negotiated this horrible place. Pick, 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 pick. Complete. Right, now to find Dom Osmond. I always say Don Osmond. That's a different thing altogether. And he probably doesn't do what this guy does. As you can see, the cops, they be investigating at the door right now. They're asking about the murder. And, you know, the bouncers aren't too happy about that because they're just awful human beings. I don't know if the cops are looking for me at this point. I mean, let's be honest, he didn't do a great job at hiding the 47 thing and after the fire. They could still be wanting to, you know, shoot me in the arse. So let's head up here. Go through the back entrance, which is surprisingly easy, and, you know, avoid him. 